Welcome back to the show Talk with your doc. With me is Dr. Abu Bakare, endocrinologist in Thunder Bay, Ontario, Canada. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bakare. We were talking about um, signs and symptoms and various investigations for diabetes. Now, once somebody is labeled with a diabetes and one is diagnosed with a diabetes, what are the treatment options available? Well, the treatment options, again, would depend on the level. I mean, we did mention pre-diabetes. Obviously, the treatment for pre-diabetes is mostly lifestyle changes to yes. try and make things less likely to progress. Once you are a diabetic, what we do first is, is then monitor the blood sugars, okay? Yeah. And we also monitor the hemoglobin A1C. They are standards set up by most associations. In Canada, is the is CDA, or the Canadian Diabetes Association, suggesting what to do. Well, the basis of all the treatment in, in type 2 diabetes, and all, to a certain extent type 1 diabetes, is diet. Diet. Uh, yeah. so, so diet and lifestyle uh, changes are constant. Change the lifestyle, that. change the diet, the That's diabetes right. might get controlled by itself. Without by itself. You might be lucky to get control for the first uh, few yeah. weeks or months yeah. or even more. Okay? Is, it, is it a curative thing? Not usually. Not usually. Not Once usually. you are diabetes type 2, it's always there. It's always there, but the blood sugars may be controllable, and then you, you are okay. Okay. All right. So once you are labeled, you need to change your life? You need to change your lifestyle. Otherwise? Um, uh, otherwise, it's not, nothing not, is likely not to happen. Uh, so uh, once you do the change, what do you mean by lifestyle changes? So what sort of diet one should take? Now, what we're saying is, is a, a diet that is not overloaded with carbohydrates. Okay. Now, I, I, people then will ask, is it the carbohydrate causing? Of course not. But the thing is, as I, we, you mentioned and I mentioned, the diabetes is due to an inability of the insulin you are producing to control mostly the carbohydrates. I mean, the proteins and fats are also involved, but mostly the carbohydrates. Okay. So it, an overloaded system already, if you add more to it, you are more likely to show uh, 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 higher levels of So blood when sugar. you say carbohydrate, what diet content should be reduced or avoided? It should be, well, I mean, we, we, we expect you particularly to avoid refined carbohydrates. Refined. Why do we say refined? Because those are the ones that don't even require any digestion. Hmm. So the blood sugar goes straight into the system. And so, so we expect you to take something that has more fiber, that has more uh, complex carbohydrates, right. that requires digestion so that there, there is some slowness in, right. in the level of blood sugar rising and hopefully your pancreas can cope so, with it. So uh, when you say refined, that means like instead of drinking the fruit juice, that's right. eat the fruit. Eat the fruit, you're right. right. Right? That's correct. So when you eat the fruit, yeah. you have the carbohydrate and the fiber with it. That's right. But if you drink like a whole glass of juice, just, then you don't have a fiber. No, you just have it. Right. Okay. And um, so reduce the refined carbohydrate have mm -hmm. more carbohydrate with the fi uh, with the fibers mm -hmm. which means fruits and juices uh -huh. what else whole whole grain whole grain wheat whole grain rice uh, such things uh, and, and if even if you take the rice make sure you have some fiber around it you have some other food like vegetables with mm -hmm. it to, re to reduce and modify the degree to which it, it will go in. Right. So whole grain rice or mm -hmm. whole grain wheat will be good. That's right. And uh, fiber containing food. So That's more right. green leafy vegetables. More green leaf and vegetable. Meat is... Uh, meat is sort of neutral. Okay. Uh, meat is neutral. So of course, because diabetic patients tend to have high cholesterol levels, we, we would like to also reduce the amount of fats. Uh, on amount of fat and meat. Intake. That's right. Right. So... Uh, how about protein-containing diet? Protein, protein, we, 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 we don't control as such. In fact, if anything, because the body very rarely retains proteins. Right. We don't retain amino acids uh, right. to a large extent. Right. So, uh, but we retain fat very right. easily. We retain right. uh, glucose, glucose or uh, carbohydrate very we store it in the in the liver. So, so, so one fruit a day um, is good for diabetics. That's right. The right fruit. Okay. Yeah, they, right don't, fruit. don't eat uh, ten uh, fifty grapes a day. Grapes. <laughs> so, which is a high glycemic index. That's right. So, which are the fruits to be avoided? I would say I just said grapes, uh, banana is a, is a typical one uh, it's because a high banana glycemic. is a high pineapples and <laughs> high glycemic. Uh -huh. uh, but things like uh, guava is fantastic. Right. Uh, the grapefruit is, is, is fantastic. Ap apple is good. Apple is okay. Right. You know, uh, and the orange itself, not oranges. Okay. Not oranges. Yeah, orange. Yeah. Okay. okay. So and how are. about mango, which I love the most? Well, mango is all right. All right. But mango has fiber. You know, mango has quite it's a bit good. of fiber. Right. So if you right. eat the mango, not mango juice. Okay. Right. <laughs> Um, other than the diet, how about exercise? Well, the exercise is sort of, uh, it's not, uh, we now say you should exercise if you can 150 minutes a week. 
150 minutes. Uh, you can away. divide that anywhere you want. You mm. know, the, if you can do a 15 minutes uh, a day for 10 days, you've done the 150, uh, but preferably about 150 a week. So, and some people will say 30 minutes uh, uh, to 45 minutes uh, daily. Right. So, so those are the recommendations. A brisk walk, and don't have to do it all at the same time. Right. You, you can, if you're doing 30 minutes, you can do 10, 10, 10, and... Uh, now, exercise, how does it help to control the diabetes? Does it break down the sugar or what does no, it not do? Not really. We, we think exercise uh, increases sensitivity to your insulin. Okay. Uh, it, it sort of helps the metabolism uh, and, and makes the, your, 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 your insulin a little bit more effective than it would have been. So if you do yeah, regular yeah. exercise, your insulin will act more. A little and, better. And reduce the sugar levels. That's right. Yeah. Right. Now, once one does the diet and the exercise, mm. and if required, what sort of medications? Well, we have uh, groups of medications uh, that we have. The, the most common one that's recommended is, uh, is metformin to start with in mm -hmm. almost every type 2 diabetic patient, unless they can't tolerate it. Uh, uh, we will recommend this starting with metformin. Right. And then, of course, you progress depending on the level of blood sugars and what we call the hemoglobin A1C. Mm -hmm. So you can go from metformin to another group of drugs, the more common one in the past would have been the, what we call the sulfonylureas. Yes. The sulfonylureas will include glyburide, glyclozide. Uh, right. uh, now, if somebody is taking these oral medications, mm -hmm. then at what stage one needs the insulin, injectable insulin? They get inju in insulin injections? Well, the insulin injection are, uh, at stages, things have, have changed quite a bit. In the past, what we did, we gave you all the drugs that we have at the beginning, and if you f finish all of them at the maximum dose, we will move on right. to insulin because then you have no, no, no other uh, recourse, okay? Now we feel that uh, there are so many drugs on that insulin may in fact come in earlier if you agree to, uh, to, to, uh, for it to be reintroduced. So for example, if you are on uh, drugs and your blood sugar in the morning is extremely high, uh, then insulin is probably the best drug best uh, to drug. try and to take at bedtime to try and reduce the blood sugar right. in the morning and right. then keep piling in the, the, the medication. It's just that we have so many classes of medication right. that we can actually use. And we can combine say, some of the medications with insulin. So it's not an exclusive. Uh, right. In the past, all we did was, uh, well, well, you're on insulin now, we give you insulin, and you'll be on insulin four times a day. People can get insulin resistance also, right, after taking the insulin? Well, insulin resistance in the sense uh, of not building it up, uh, insulin resistance is always there. Okay. Okay. Uh, I mean, once you're type 2 diabetic, the insulin resistance is always there. Uh, the, the drugs that are meant to either bypass it or make you, in fact, more sensitive is what, what we have now. Right. right. Uh, uh, in, there was only one class of drug that actually tackled insulin resistance, but they're they are not a popular drug at this time. So now, just about recent um, advances, is the, is the pancreatic islets and transplantation... Uh, can you tell us something about that? Well, allied transplantation has always uh, uh, sort of been there, in, either in a crude or in refined form. We do have uh, a pancreatic allied transplantation, uh, mostly from Edmonton in Canada, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and they've been uh, uh, successful in the transplantation. Uh, what has been the problem is uh, the retention of a transplant to stay on, uh, because if you transplant islets, uh, the, the body brings out the same antibodies that damage your own pancreas. This is in type 1 mostly, though, okay? Yes, yeah. uh, uh, that damage your pancreas, we damage the eyelids. So you would require another set of uh, eyelids cell uh, harvest to, right. uh, again, to put in more eyelids. Uh, so the, the initial success is sort of tempered by the fact that you may require uh, several uh, transplants to be able to maintain uh, right. either going without insulin or going with small amount of insulin. So the success is, has not been as high as one would have expected or else expected. Maybe our expectations was too much. Okay. Right. Thank you, Dr. Bakari. Thank you so much this for enlightening us for so much about the diabetes. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for joining us.